Hello everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Esheen EO13 Plus. Now this was sent out to me by uh, Banggood. So you want to go check them out, banggood.com. I'll put a link for this in the uh, description below. And I just want to do a full disclaimer on this right off the bat before I even get started on this. I know absolutely nothing about these types of quadcopters. I mean, you've heard of the term greenhorn. Whatever the term was before that or what's below that, that's what I am. I know nothing, zero. Never flown one of these FPV little race quads ever. Okay, so just so you know how good this thing is, I was able to actually go out and fly this a whole battery and without crashing. Okay, that's how good it is, okay? <laughs> Somebody that's never done it, I was able to go out and fly it uh, without crashing. I think it bopped off the ground a couple of times. You're gonna see the video. I already went out and made the flight video and I'm gonna put that in after this uh, we'll, where I unbox it and show you the parts and stuff you get with it. Anyway, it's uh, one of these FPV 5.8, uh, image transmission things i don't even have goggles okay for this type of stuff i have dji goggles which i use for my ps4 i've only actually used them one time with the mavic pro um as a one key takeoff has the uh four bladed props has the adjustable channel and has the flight modes and the anti-turtle mode which i want to show you that in here um i didn't actually even need to use it outside because i didn't crash so um, yeah, it flew okay. It's not, um, you know, I've flown manual, uh, quadcopters like bug threes and stuff like that, but this is a little, it's not the same. It's so it, don't think that if you get one of these, oh, I had a bugs three, this will fly the same. No, it's not the same. These little race quads have their own little nuances to it that you have to uh, adapt to there it's not the same as a uh, as flying a bugs three and one more thing i will tell you because i think donnie mentioned it in his video uh the props do come off pretty easily so you got to be careful uh, with that i took it up in the house and let it fall to the ground and a couple of them went flying and it took me like an hour to find them because they're clear and they blend into everything okay so Let's get it out of the box and check it out. All right, guys, here's what you get in the box. <clears throat> you get the quadcopter, of course, and there's those blades, those clear blades. Those, um, they come off pretty easily, so you gotta be real careful with these. You get the transmitter. The transmitter looks like a parrot fly pad, actually. It has a very nice feel to it, and the sticks are high enough if you like to do the pinching or the thumbing, you can do either one. They're tall enough to be able to pinch with them. You got two 500 milliamp hour batteries. They are 25C. You get the charger. You get the phone holder or your screen holder, or whatever that goes on there when you're doing that. Uh, if you want to use the FPV screen type stuff. Um, your screwdriver, spare blades, they give you an extra battery and the charger and the charger actually charges this battery pretty quickly. Um, when the uh, charger is uh, charging the battery, the light, the red light on there will be a solid red light when it's charging. And when it's done charging, it'll start flashing, letting you know that the charge is complete. So let's pop the battery in here because I want to show you that turtle mode where it flips over. And there's the uh, camera on the front there, by the way, right there. Now the battery does have one of those little tongues on there. So you can get it out of there because it fits very snug inside this little frame. So they give you that tongue on the battery so you won't be pulling on a cord and then 
pulling the you know cord away from the battery so you just pull on that little tongue right there okay I plugged it in then you turn on the transmitter you bind it up now here's the uh, modes right here here's the mode switch there's uh, the second one, that's for the horizon mode. And the third one is for acro. And then the first one is just for regular, regular stuff. And then this button over here is for the uh, rates. And this is, you hold this in for the uh, turtle mode. So I'm gonna show you that right now real quick. So we'll flip it over. So if you're up, I don't worry about the charger. If you're out flying and it flips over, you just hold that button in and it flips over like that. Okay. It also starts the motors too. So, so that's to arm the motors also, but you saw it flip over. That's what it does if you're out in the field and you, you know, crash it or whatever. You can just hit that and it'll flip back over and hit it again or arm the motors or they'll stay armed right there and then you can just take off. I'm not going to fly it on here because this thing's pretty fast, okay? I don't uh, think this is a real indoor type of a, of a flyer. Yeah, I could just take it off and flip it around in here, but I already recorded the outside video, so we'll just go with that. But uh, it's, it's pretty nice if uh, somebody uh, like me could get this thing going, okay? Because like I said, I don't know anything about these things. All right, guys. Stay tuned for the flight video coming right up. Have a nice day. I'm out here with the Esheen EO13 Plus. This is courtesy of Banggood.com. So you want to go check them out. This is one of these little FPV mini uh, trainers. You know, this is for training. It has acro and horizon mode on here. Uh, I think the acro is uh, mode 3. The horizon mode is mode two, and the um, just the regular flight mode is mode one. There's how you arm the motor with the R button right there. And that's how you take off. Now I will say it's pretty quick, okay? This thing is pretty fast. <laughs> Here, we'll do a little punch out on it right here. You can see. Look at that. Pretty quick. Now, what I know about these type of quadcopters, okay, what I know about these, you could fit inside of a molecule, okay? The knowledge that I have of these things is L zilch, L nothing. But at least I'm able to keep it from crashing for the most part. You know, I haven't had any crashes with it yet or anything like that. It seems to be pretty stable. Um, it doesn't fly, you know, like a Bug 3 or anything like that. It, it's not that type of deal. I'm not going to put it in the acro mode or anything like that because it's, you know, that's a for sure uh, catastrophe, <laughs> okay? So that's, that's a for sure catastrophe for some, somebody like me.
But I am able to, you know, to get it to go around a little bit. But like I said, this, these kind of quadcopters aren't my, aren't my thing, okay? <laughs> This is more uh, cuppy, cuppy action here. Okay, sit still. I have a hard time getting this thing to sit still sometimes. Sometimes it'll be fine. Then sometimes it'll not be fine. Now this has that turtle mode, which I'm not going to show you because the grass is wet and I'm not gonna put it in the sand to show that, but um, it, you, if the thing crashes or whatever and flips upside down, all you do is hold the R button in and it'll flip back over. See, because I don't know anything about these types of quadcopters. I don't know the idiosyncrasies of these things, you know. All the tricks and the nuances. You know, there's tricks to all this stuff, you know. I think the battery's uh, going dead, by the way. The lights are flashing on it. Yeah, it is. Or it's not. Well, what is it? I see these lights flashing under there. Yeah, I see them right there. But, like I said, I don't really know all the tricks of the trade of this stuff. There, I got it to sit a little stiller there. Well, it seemed like it was crapping out, but it's back to life. I'm just riding out the battery, which that's it. That is it this time, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. Um, you know, I can't give you a really good review on this thing because I don't know nothing about it, okay? But they sent it to me, so I have to you know, make this video. So there it is, <laughs> okay? I know nothing about these things, but hey. So, I mean, if you look at it, I absolutely know nothing about these types of quadcopters, and I was able to fly it around without destroying it. So that actually shows you how good it is at training somebody, okay? That even a freaking nimwit like me, with no experience with these things, can, uh, can fly it. So that's a good point. So I give it a thumbs up on that, all right? Thanks, thanks, uh, Banquet, for sending this out. All right, guys, have a nice day.